my name is Pat Kiley. I'm from Tarbert County Kerry and I'm doing research here in University College Cork which is funded by the Irish Cancer Society. This research is allowing me to get a better understanding of how cancer spread. We're predominantly interested with how cancer spread. Cancers exist as a primary tumour and the cells at the edge of a primary tumour start to run out of nutrients and start to run out of space. These cells will want to break away from the primary tumour and set up their own tumours around the body. This process is known as metastasis and leads to, this, to the establishment of secondary tumours. It's these secondary tumours which will ultimately kill people. So my research is predominantly focused with helping us understand how cancer cells break away from the primary tumour and why they decide to move away and set up secondary tumours. If we target this as our area of research, we believe that we will uh, come up with the best chance of fighting cancer as, as a form of disease. It's, it's been well established that when cancer cells are growing in the body, they're constantly receiving signals from the outside of the cancer cell. Some of these signals are coming in the form of what nutrients are present. Another set of signals are coming in the form of what uh, the cancer, where it lies at a particular moment in time, in relation to other cancer cells and in relation to where it is in the body. What I've discovered over the last five or six years is that these two signaling pathways actually come together. And the way they come together is uh, brought about by the presence of uh, a protein called RAC1. So what we've discovered here at the University of College Cork is that RAC1 is a wheel type structure that lies in cancer cells and brings these two signaling processes together. When these two signaling processes are brought together, it results in making a cancer cell more aggressive and making a cancer cell move more quickly. So we've presented this work at a number of scientific meetings uh, and presented it in, uh, for publication in a number of scientific journals and we've received a, a number of, of awards for this work. At the moment, uh, the research that we're doing into cancer is limited by the fact that we're growing uh, cancer cells in a two-dimensional environment. Two-dimensional environment means that we're growing cancer cells on plastic while providing uh, cancer cells with nutrients all the time. In this way, uh, cancer cells are growing in a way that does not reflect what's actually happening in the body. So cancer cells in the body, which is a three-dimensional environment, will actually talk to each other and talk to the body differently than it does on, and how we can mimic it on a dish. So what I want, and which is I got funded by the Irish Cancer Society, is to establish a new model system for looking at cancer cells. That model system is to grow these cancer cells in a three-dimensional environment. I'm going to take these cells and grow them in a jelly-like substance and provide them with nutrients all the time. And in this way we can get a better understanding of how cancers talk to each other all the time and how they move into space. This will get us a better understanding of how cancer cells break away from a primary tumour uh, to set up secondary tumours around the body. So if we can figure out how cancers break away from the primary tumour, then this will help us establish new therapies for uh, the treatment of cancer. I was first drawn to a career in science uh, uh, by being encouraged by my secondary school teacher in Tarbert. When I arrived in University College Cork, I was really excited about the quality of the research being carried out here in UCC. After my degree, I decided to do a PhD in the biochemistry department here in University College Cork. There are a number of things I enjoy about being a cancer researcher. I suppose the main one is that when you travel around the world and see that other people are talking about your work, that's really exciting. I also really enjoy being part of a vibrant and energetic team that we have here in University College Cork. The funding I receive from the Irish Cancer Society will allow me to continue this work and get a better understanding of how cancer spread. The funding that I received also helps me to establish stronger links with researchers in Ireland, in the UK and overseas.